Well, here we are. It's a bloody Sunday. Another bloody Sunday. Not as bloody as last Sunday because Georgia didn't get their asses handed to them in a football game, but we are still in a grumpy Sunday. Oh. This is TNT. TNT triple seven, and there's a fire in the background. I figured you'd appreciate this because it looks cool. We thought TNT was moving, but TNT is not moving. Anthony Carpinetti. Todd and Christina Pierce are joining us today. And in the foreground, er, gross. And that's your opening briefing. Back to the south deck, looking for trouble. Oh, you're just a 737 Dairy Queen. I say Dairy Queen because the tail numbers are often DQ on these, and Anthony told me some call them Dairy Queen, and I kind of like that. So there's your first actual spot of this Sunday afternoon. Spot you! Where's TNT? Are you moving? Damn it! Move TNT! What is this? Are you a 300? Oh, you could be a 300. This could be a good score. Oh my, I think you've passed your door check, sir. Can't keep you in the box for shit, but let's see. Oh, good wing dip. Oh, yes, he's down. He's down hard. That was a hard landing, and now he's skidding to the left and the right. Oh, he's passing that door check. You are a dandy, my friend. Way to pass the door check. Way to go. Bam, bam. Now, TNT, what the fuck is your hold up? God, move. It's like a short bus. Where the hell is it? Start above the uh, head dog. Which hedgehog? There it is. Well, well, well. If it is an old spirit again, this is the same view we got of him yesterday. Damn it. Come on the south side for me. I'll go north. I'll go meet him on the north side. Good look, spirit. Good look. I like that. Anthony calls it the magic school bus. I like tar taxi or short bus better. But Spirit's not all that bad. It's just home of the bear fair. He just doesn't use condoms. So all you ladies, get yourself checked out for chlamydia because Spirit is known to pass it around. But anyway, that's just a theory of mine. You should always get yourself checked out, ladies, anytime you're on board a Spirit aircraft. This looks interesting. Are we a Sky Team? Are we a Sky Team? Are we? Oh, this is good. This is good. This is swell. We're always done with some Sky Team. Hey, it's Sky Team, you guys. Anthony, you be respectful when you respond to me, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to do. I need yes, sir. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. <laughs> Yesterday, he had a Caucasian nose. That's interesting. Sky Team and Stank Air. It's going to be the name of this art form. Very good, Sky Team. Very good. Should we do a TNT check, too? You all want to? Well, I'm gonna be passing right by it. Why don't we try it? Are you moving? No, you're not. You're still just sitting there like a lazy bastard. Gall. Where's your sky team? Yes, you're handsome. Only the best of the best fly for sky team. They've gone through the top gun training or red flag, depending on if they're Air Force or Navy. And they've earned the right to fly a sky team aircraft. You gentlemen are superstars. Citrus? Well, you guys want citrus? Just because we're going to not be seeing citrus much longer? I know you guys don't get to see citrus very much. Everyone loves citrus. We miss citrus. When citrus was citrus. Hey, that's a good dip. I liked that. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Touch it down. You got this citrus in the stank air. And there you go. Good landing. Oh, the glory days when Citrus used to have the logo jets and stuff. That was so nice. Y'all want to check on the uh, TNT while we pass by? See if he's moving? Why don't we check it out, huh? Y'all want to see? Do you? Citrus? Okay, well. Oh, he's moving. Is he moving? Damn it. Damn it! He wasn't moving. Ah! So I've lost many bolts that go with stool sample, as you can see here. That hole is missing a bolt. 
that bolt remains, but obviously I'm not the best craftsman when putting this together. I did not take great care or great caution. Stool sample in the sun with my Powerade stool sample in the sun. Well, it's deja vu all over again as we capture the mighty Virgin. Virgin Flight 103, VIR 103, heavy, coming in from London, England. It seems like deja vu all over again. The one item that was going to shake this up was TNT, but TNT refuses to cooperate and move. So I will grace you with more Virgin. Do you like Virgin? Yes, you do. Here's more Virgin. Enjoy it! Boy, that's a perfect touch. Virgin on virgin soil. Touching down. Very happy. Very happy to be alive. In the stank air. Y'all want to see what TNT's doing? Oh god, there's something heavy behind this guy. Who's heavy behind you, virgin? TNT is still immobilized. Now, panning up and over and up. Oh, it's a triple seven. Hot damn. In from Amsterdam. Yeah, the stank here is horrible. I'm getting eaten alive by it, too. It makes me want to just rear back and punch something in the face, but there's nothing to punch. So we'll watch this triple seven come in with our quiet voice and try to be kind to those living things around us who were at risk of being punched. Love to see a heavy takeoff. Yeah, he looks like an LR. I can see his uh, his uh, rake wing tips. Wow. Whoa! Yuck! Got it! He bastard. I can still see his bastard shadow, too. What a bastard. What a bastard. Now that is a sight right there. Oh, they sent a virgin around for a close-up? Fuck yeah. Now, where is TNT? Is TNT moving yet? going to be the constant refrain. Nope, he is still one centimeter from these lights. You bastard, go! Virgin! Let's get a close-up on all these virgin passengers. Wave to them. Wave. Let's wave. I want some waving back. Are they waving back? Wave to them. Make them wave. I want their undivided attention while it's in focus. They're waving back! Or he's doing instruments. Hello, British! Hello! Hello, virgins! Hello, virgins. They're very nice. Very nice virgins. They're so sweet. Now, you're not a virgin at all. You're just a big, bad Maya. Big, bad Maya. Look at that. Wave to them. I want their attention. I want their attention. I'm waving and focusing. Have they returned my wave? Only time will tell. Well, me and Anthony are trying to figure out if I got him in the video yesterday, but there's a 767, so we'll get him as soon as the 767 touches down, just so Anthony can have his cameo. I think Anthony just likes saying the word cameo, because I sure do. It sounds like Exotica. Okay, now you keep looking at that airplane. I'm gonna get Anthony on video. There's Anthony Cameo! Cameo! And is TNT moving? If that TNT is. You've missed the wave. You waved too late. You were already cameoed. Sal Wester Classy coming in. Could he be winglet If he is, he's definitely in my book of good catches. He could be. Oh, I think he's winglet-less. Oh, what a day of glory and sunshine. Oh, wait, does he have winglets now? I can't tell. He's winglet-less. We have the confirmation. Just a touch of old classic livery and time. Actually, that didn't make sense. Just a touch of class, that's what we'll say. Hey, are you moving yet, you bastard? Oh, you son of a whore! Oh my god. Dude, it's Cat Vomit Brown DiGiorno. I gotta let you go. Alright, well, we'll uh, holler at me later. Uh, find out what's up with TNT. 
I gotta, I gotta narrate. I have to narrate Cat Moment Brown DiGiorno. DiGiorno, I have to go. I have to narrate. No, I didn't get it. DiGiorno! DiGiorno! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Shoot me a text and let me know what's up with TNT. Alright, later. Oh, God. Where, where'd it go? I was trying to hang the phone up. Cancel this. Damn it. You know, I try to get off the phone with DiGiorno and he just keeps talking. It's Cat Vomit Brown, everybody. We got to celebrate the arrival of the one and only Cat Vomit Brown. Whoa, hey there. Well, you got my attention temporarily. Back to Cat Vomit Brown. I want a close up. Oh, I love it. Love Cat Vomit Brown. Definitely the radicalist of all Southwesters. Does it say Cat Vomit Brown? Oh, it's just classic. That's good. It's okay. What's up with TNT? Is it effing moving yet? Damn you! Oh, we got an S Turner. Oh! Oh, he's S turning. This could mean a go around. You seen one already? What was it? Oh, S turny. What's that? I don't see what it was, but it was a go around. You just heard it? Cool. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. I love the S turn. S turn. This is nice. Well, we've gotten recon from our recon man, DiGiorno. He said the TNT is showing unknown right now. It is known as quality, is the call sign. Call sign quality. It looks like he's lined it back up just in time. You performed well, Mad Dog. You're going to get the full show. I'm going to give it to you. He's on it pretty good. Let's get the ground in there so you can see the ground, too. There's nothing quite like overhead. I'm sorry. S-turn. i got overhead on the brain right now. Todd's talking about going and getting some overhead, so... Now that's what I'm thinking about too, but I don't want to leave before TNT tells me what it's doing. Now that was one hell of a show, Mad Dog. I certainly appreciate that. Yeah, right. They're awesome. Radical winglets are radical. But I guess that goes without saying. Those are definitely the radical. TNT's pissing me off and I'm about to switch locations. Like that. We might go to the north deck. That might be the place to be. Good job. Very nice. This looks interesting, you guys. This Airbus coming in here. Is this a Continental United? Is it Spirit? Is it Frontierio? Who is this? And I am excited. I think it might be a Continental United. Oh, well, that's just the bee's knees, isn't it? Look, you guys, bee's knees. Oh, it's a United... It's a United Continental A320. What a joyous occasion. You don't ever see that. Boy, he's got a humpback. Look at that humpback there. Yeah, say 320 Hey, there's some more Continental in there. Haven't seen these in uh, quite some time. Oh, well, welcome to the North Deck. As Todd, Christina, and I have abandoned Carpinetti. Let's just abandon him. Did we abandon him? He wanted to stay, right? Yeah, so that was not abandonature. So, this is the second time I've seen this in my life. Here we go. Do you guys have anything to add? I have never seen it from this perspective. I have only seen it from the south side. Or south of Mason-Dixon, the Confederate side. Oh, 
God, that was stanky. Damn, did you see that stank air? Coming right out of that MD-90, oh my God. And there he goes, he looks really good, I still like it. I know it looked gay, but I still like it. We've all agreed, Todd and Christina like it too, right? Oh, he's giving us a bank. Yeah. And this tripod is stair-stepping. Let's get that to stop. Very nice. Look how yellow he is up against that blue sky. That's way cool. Way cool. Way radical. One minute, they're great. One minute, they're right on. The next minute, they're five minutes tardy. And so are you. That makes flight aware the risky endeavor that it is, but we are glad to have it. How did they do this back in the olden days? Look. I have like those flight books. You actually like bought like a flight schedule. Wow. It's a book. It's very very thick. That was BT. Before before times? Before, before times. Before Todd, yeah. It was not BM. It wasn't bowel movement or before math. I was I was a little child. Fifth grade, I used to collect those things, and I still have a bunch of them. Ah, uh, yes, a standard 767 parade member. We haven't seen many of these today again for some reason, just like yesterday. Then again, we didn't really visit the north side yesterday. We did via the Rennie, I suppose, but that was later in the day. And he's going to touch and make a beautiful landing. I like that Porsche plant in the background. That looks real nice, real nice. Very good, very good. Where's your ramper? Somebody waving you in? Yeah, that's like Atlanta. Slacker. Get on it. Wave him in. Stop texting and wave in the airplane. T-17A or T-17. Wave him in. Oh, he's not even the waver. He's just moseying around. Is somebody going to wave these guys in? Is he just going to do it himself, I guess? He's trying to get attention. They need horns on these things. He's just agitated. This one guy's standing over here in the corner. He's like, well, should I put more sunflower seeds in my mouth or should I wave him in? Maybe I'll wave him in. Are you kidding me? Come on, guy. Trying to put in his OSHA approved earplugs. Yes, OSHA approved earplugs for sure. Because God forbid he hurt himself. Oh, he's just going to stand there. Look at this. Really? You're going to pick up the cones? I would be so pissed if I was going for an on-time arrival and you can't pull into the gate because these slackers are not letting you. I can't see your faces, but I know you're good people. Barb trash. Now, let's bring the gate over. Yes, just drag it. You know, don't pick it up and hurry or anything. You cost these people about five to seven minutes. Whoa, another Eagle flight. Cool. Double. Why don't we get you some radical winglets and you'll look decent, Mr. Reginald. It's going to park next to him, though. It's going to park right next to him. Oh, cat vomit, bro! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cat Vomit Brown just stole the show. Yes, that's glorious focus right there. Glorious. Do you know what flight number that is, Todd? 1173. That's out of Vegas, you said, right? So we have a bunch of winners and or losers on board this aircraft. Some are probably coming back big winners. Some probably barely afforded the ticket home. We probably have some newlyweds on board too, that happens in Vegas. And probably some people who saw some high-priced legal prostitutes. I think that's supposed to be rampant in that town. Prostitution's legal, right? Right. So you can go get a pro while you're gambling. You gamble enough, you get yourself a pro. How about it? So those passengers are going to be very mixed up and disoriented as they come back into this more civilized realm. Welcome home, all of you gamblers and prostitute take or Johns, I guess is what we'll call them. 
Gamblers and Johns all on board. There we go. Well, and here comes the magical one, Cat Vomit Brown. We love the Cat Vomit. We love the Brown. We love everything about this. This is my favorite Southwester ever. He's in some stank air, but trust me, we'll get a good look. Believe you me. Oh, yes. He, ah! Shark attack. And stink air attack. And now he's up and at them. Up and at them. That tug driver's loud on ATC. I'd be pretty loud, too, if I was him. Oh, cat vomit brown on this Sunday afternoon. My tripod's being squeaky. And away we go. Good job, cat vomit brown. Back to wherever you came from. What do we have here? Something small. Oh, it's Pilatus, dude. Look, Todd pilatus -y. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, neato mosquito. I've never seen that livery. Watch out for the hedgehog, sir. Oh, I said watch out. See you have anybody behind him? Todd, is there somebody behind this guy? He's taking a sweet time getting off the runways. Might cause a go around. Well, damn it. Oh, neato mosquito. I love seeing guys in front. That's awesome. Gives you a real good indicator of the scale. All right, now that's a big boy. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get some clearance for this mofo and not lose him at the same time. No. You said Delta 94 heavy, right? Yep. Where's he out of? Oh, that's. Are you sure that's Delta 29 or 6? No, it's 94. Delta 94, RJAA? For some reason, I thought that was Narita's code. It is Narita. So he's out of Narita, they just changed his flight number. Here it is. Delta 94, heavy Roger. You know the type? Say again. You know the type? No, I don't. Just a heck of a lot of them, probably 10. Right here. Oh, is he talking about birds? And they're big. Roger. What the hell? 72557, right turn on Bravo, join the Victor Loop. Right on Bravo, join the Victor Loop, Delta 2557. What the hell was he speaking about? Oh well. Delta 94 Heavy. This is the new 29 or 6. These guys are awesome. I want to know where these birds are. Where are the birds this guy's talking about? I don't see any birds. Oh, it's a poor Reginald, too. That's a shame. Poor Reginald. Sounded grumpy. Are you grumpy? I'm sorry. Sorry, it's 5647, it's Reggie. 5647, line of tower, wind 300 at 8, runway 26 right, to land, use caution, burn advisors in effect. 26 right, to land, it's 5647. Oh, Frontierio, who's Cat? I think it's Alex the Cougar. His name is Alex, or her name is Alex. I like girls named Alex, I think that's cute. So, that one's name is Alex. Now, we get the 767 rolling, and then we're gonna roll to a different location, but we haven't figured out what. I want to go somewhere I can sit. That's the prerequisite. So is keeping it in the box, not wandering off with my eyes. My eyes wander, Todd, it's horrible. 
half the time you see it go out of the box is because I'm wandering looking at something else. And up, and up, and up. And away, 767, outbound parade member. Let's go vertical. Let's get vertical, vertical. I wanna go vertical. Let's get into vertical. Let me hear your body talk. My body. This guy is still just sitting here. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing, sir? Answer me, sir. Todd, yell. Yell at him. <laughs> See if you can get his attention. Hey! 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 Oh, he's talking to somebody. Who's he talking to? He thinks he's pulled over and he's just talking. Weird, weird, weirdo. Well, we don't have any airplanes coming, so. Damn it, that phone scares me. So there you go, there's that guy. Sunday grumpies are setting in as I sit here by myself, all by my lonesome, watching mad dogs arrive overhead relentlessly. It's a relentless stream of mad dogs and Reginalds. What shall we do about this? Will we change positions or just go home? Stay tuned and find out next. Well, I've really teased you on that, haven't I? Really, really teased hard. I can't even keep him in the box. I'm so full of Sunday grumpies all of a sudden. The sun's starting to get low in the sky. It's only 3.45. I'm sorry, it's 4.15. As I looked at my watch, you could tell by the jerky motion. And the mad dog comes home to roost with nothing else in my pattern other than mad doggery. That is a straight United. Or straight continental. Struggling ever so mightily to keep him in the box. It appears I've struck it rich. If you consider an A320 or A319 by the team called United striking it rich. DiGiorno's just ringed us on the phone and advised of the departing of TNT, which is what the whole day was about in the first place. So, instead of calling it a day here, we might have to go to the south deck. Will we, in fact, do that? Stay tuned and find out next. Bird. Lots of birds here. I'd love to see a bird strike. You want to hit a bird? Now that I wish for the death of birds, because birds are my friends, I love them. I am a bird man. But, being able to bear witness to a bird strike and an engine failure would be radical. But this is still radical in and of itself, for it is United, bird of a different feather, Continental as well. It's a Continental United, A319 it appears. Radical! Well, that's a nice shot. And he's wing dipping just for me. I've been trying to get you guys some more citrus, and citrus will be leaving us soon, so this will become a sight for sore eyes at some point. If your eyes are not sore now, they will be, don't worry, so once your eyes are sore, this will be a sight. Until then, how about we enjoy some citrus while we still can. I'm still here at the Sky Meadow as I heard Delta Flight 75, a 777 out of Amsterdam will be arriving on my pattern here. But I don't see it yet. Citrus, it's gonna be a sad day when you go away. But your logo jets were pretty much your heart and soul and you killed that a long time ago. So your heart and soul have been dead. They've been dead for a while. And so it was written that we return to the south deck in the interest of catching TNT. But TNT is in the exact same position it was in when we arrived earlier this afternoon. What is up with this Belgian? This Belgian is pissing me off. Well, we better get to see a collection of goodies, otherwise I'm going to be pissed. Two constants, whatever the constant tire fire is down there, and TNT. You can see the three circles that would make the TNT right there. 
Why aren't you moving? They finally put it on FlightAware, TNT, or Quality Flight 13. Not departing until 4.12 in the afternoon. Well, guess what? Local time is 5 o'clock. What the shit? What the shit? What is happening to my dear airport? Lufty bringing us another A330 today, I believe. We didn't catch him on the arrival. We'll catch him on the departure. There it is. Lufty, the A330 giant. The kraut after our own heart. We love it. This is great. Spectacular. What a spectacular roll. What a spectacular climb. What a spectacular everything for Lufty. Switching it up on the positive again today with an A330-300. We are totally down. Down like a clown, Charlie Brown, for you. Well, leading us off here, we have a 764 Parade member, followed by... Probably Sir France a lot, 688. So let's get back to our parade member and observe him on his arrival. The light is growing great. The light is becoming very nice. I am all by myself once again, so I will continue my narration unabated. There will be no abatement. No noise abatement at all. 764, touching down on virgin soil. Well, rock me Amadeus, I feel so good. You look sharp, look at these guys. Sexiest cockpit in the world. Hey, as long as we're in the neighborhood, are you moving? No, you're still in the same spot, you ass. And bringing up the rear, the not so mighty frog in a mess of stank air. He will be coming out of the stank air though to make us all happy with his frog-like smiles. Now, whenever Sir Francelot gets cold, Sir Francelot brings 772s. Seven they only bring the 744 when it's warm because they are pussies. But we also like them. And I have somebody pulling up behind me. Okay, he's gone. Now, back to the volume narration. Sir Francelot, the mighty pussy frog. Not bringing me a 744, but a standard issue 772. Making me feel like I'm not appreciated at the world's busiest or second busiest airport. We don't know which. I don't know. Who's ahead, Chicago or Atlanta? Either way, it's just because of our influx of Delta Reginals. But let's go ahead and appreciate that for what it is and appreciate that for what it is. Do you appreciate it? I appreciate you, sir. Kiss Sir Francelot. Oh, Sir Francelot kissed you on the forehead. Well, wasn't that a magic moment? Weren't you excited by that, sir? You have a red face. He is a red skin. Oops, that was an ethnic slur. Oh my god, you can't have the name Redskins. Don't ever use the word Redskins. It's so horrible. Fucking idiot liberals. They don't mind being called frogs. We call them frog skin, huh? No, no, we won't because that might offend them. Oh, golly, golly, golly. We don't want to do that. Don't ever call anybody a Redskin for the love of God. It will hurt their feelings. Therefore, it must be outlawed. We can't have the hurting of feelings here, can we? No. I'm just screaming up a storm. Hey. The gentleman who is taking off said he's going to have his gear down for the first 10 minutes of flight in order to cool off the brakes. Now, I don't know what that means as much as you do. You know more than me, so tell me why are we doing this? Well, that's not him. It, oh, it is him. Look at that. He's going to keep his gear down. We abandon the radical wingless to watch Mr. Gears a lot. Keeping his gear down to cool off the brakes. Wow, never seen that before. The first 10 minutes of flight, he shall have his gear down, and we shall be watching. I don't know why. I don't know how that cools the brakes. I can only imagine that it's because it's cool outside. Oh, let's stop stair-stepping this fucking thing. 
It's a Reginald, but look, the Reginald can't put his gear up because he's being a pansy. His gear is too hot. His brakes are too hot or something like that. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. I don't know. What do I know about these Reginalds? Oh, yes! Fucking idiots. Well, yet another 7.5 in a beautiful sky coming in here at Hartsfield Jackson, Maynard Jackson International Airport. In case you haven't noticed, I'm hostile towards the Maynard. For Maynard did nothing for this airport other than create lucrative vending contracts for his buddies. It was a criminal enterprise, a corrupt politician, yet another one straight out of Atlanta. Along the same lines as Bill Campbell. Those of you who don't know Bill Campbell, look him up. He's probably still sitting in jail somewhere. But we have to name the airport after Maynard because he gave his partners lucrative vending contracts. Now isn't that something? Something worth naming an international terminal and an airport after, right? Oh, Maddie's getting hostile because his TNT is still not moving. You're a son of a bitch. And so as the sun dips below the horizon, we stare straight at it in the hope of frying our eyeballs, giving us an excuse to call out sick from work tomorrow. Will it work? Stay tuned and find out next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of telling this work week to fuck off, I'm going to give you whatever this is. Whatever it is. You. Oh, look what you're stuck with. Oh, my God. This is what you get for the grand finale work week in celebration of a work week that has not yet begun but is guaranteed to be awful. We bring you Reginald with a 666 shark attack. Wow, this is full of bad omens, isn't it? Oh my, grand finale. Look at that, I've never seen such a thing. Oh, yes. Oh, good touch. Oh my God, that made my pants wet. It was so good, my ejaculation exploded like this TNT exploding out of his parking spot. That's right, it did not. Was that too much? Well, I don't care. It's your grand finale. What else? What else? What else do we have? The sound of leaves being blown across the pavement makes me feel like somebody's sneaking up behind me. Is it so? I don't know. Stay tuned and find out next. Ah! Yeah, there's not a whole lot left to stay tuned for, guys. So, you know, if you want to call it early, I release you. This may be a 753, though, so let's just keep it, keep it light keep it light, you know? Nothing too serious. Nothing too serious at all. Just gonna keep it light and hope for 753. I don't think he's passing his door check, though. That's right, so you get a 757 show today. This is going to be a very unfunny video. I'm sure you are all not amused at all. Oh, God, no. No! What about your friend over here? What was he? Was he a 753? Oh, God, no. But he is going to ram straight into this TNT fuck. Last chance for a grand finale. Oh, it's a good one! Oh, yes! We actually have a valid grand finale. It's valid. Oh my god, it's so valid. I'm tripodless. I'm human tripod. Oh, brilliant rotation. Up, 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 and away. Bringing me a final smile on this Sunday. The 8th or something, or 9th of November. Wowzers. Very good. You leaving yet? Hey, asshole. Have you moved? Son of a bitch.